When I heard the sound to the cochlear implant, it was like an instant recharge. Cochlear implants an implantable hearing device. Um, and basically what it does is it has an external processor and an internal processor. And the internal processor is surgically implanted and placed with an electrode array inside the inner ear. And so with most people, the, the place where there's a problem is in the inner ear, and the hairs in the inner ear don't work properly. And so what happens with a cochlear implant is that the electrode array goes in and it stimulates that inner ear directly that then stimulates the nerve and the message then sent up on into the brain. Um, a hearing aid basically stimulates the inner ear and whatever's working in the inner ear is, inner ear is working. Whatever's not working, you know, it kind of sends the message regardless. But this is an electrical signal that they get versus an acoustic signal. They have had progressive hearing loss over the course of their adult lives uh, such that a lot of the things that they were able to do have slowly over the years been kind of taken away from them because of the decrease in their hearing. Uh, so uh, the cochlear implant is not a bionic ear, it's not a super ear, it doesn't allow them to do superhuman things, it just allows them to do the things that they had been able to do uh, that so many of us take for granted, uh, talking on the phone, listening to music. Uh, the communication with our kids, is, it, it's, it's, for me, uh, it's much better than you have at work. I could not have a long conversation with them. You know? But uh, my wife did most of the talking, and then she would used to fill me in. But now it's, it's me filling it all in. But over time, we both. Yeah, gonna I be, have a feeling I'm going to say no, 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 no. Don't talk to me. Talk to Dad. The the initial part with the cochlear implant is can be a little bit frustrating at the very beginning because they're hearing so much that they didn't hear before and now their brain has to adapt a little bit to understand what it is that they're hearing. Um, with the hearing aid, it missed a bunch of pieces, but if you've had a hearing loss for a long time, your brain doesn't really always know that it's missing all those pieces until you fill them back in with the cochlear implant. So what we see normally is in that first few months, patients make very good progress. They're hearing a lot, but they spend a lot of time going, what was that, what was that? I'm not sure what that was because they're new sounds for them that they haven't heard. I was energized and I didn't realize I was so numb on that side. So when sound started coming, it was like, oh wow, I feel more well-rounded, you know, in terms of interacting with people now. Over the course of the next six months to a year, she'll make good progress in understanding. Her speech will get better um, because she can now hear and monitor what she's saying more accurately. So it makes a, a big difference. First couple of months are usually the hardest. After that, usually big gains.